Friday then. First, we're here to reflect on the fact that there are people who are willing to serve and bleed and die to protect the rest of us. This wall names many of them, but there are thousands of others living and dead to whom we owe our very way of life. Okay. Panel 19 West, line 17. And West would be on this side of the wall. We in Naval Special Warfare consider this park almost sacred ground. And the town of Cupertino has chosen to honor two of our brave warriors, Matt Axelson and James Saw. Four years ago today, then Secretary of the Navy, the Honorable Dr. Winner, in his remarks as he dedicated this park, said, it is our duty to honor the fallen, and we should remember their stories. There he is. Frederick B. Davis, Bruce Davis, was the older brother of my best friend when I was growing up. So I remember this tragedy for their family. He was on his second tour, and he volunteered to go back the second time, and he was killed. Well, actually wasn't killed, he was in a coma for a long time. He was added to the wall late. While waiting to go, my company commander came over and told me to get out of the helicopter as I received my new rear echelon assignment. I left the first helicopter together with three other members of my platoon, and Lieutenant John Albert Gross took my place with his radio man, machine gunner, and ammo man. The rest of my platoon remained on the other four helicopters, and all the helicopters took off for their mission. Two days later, I found out that the first helicopter went into the landing zone and was blown up with all on board. The second helicopter came in and was also destroyed with all on board. Today, I still suffer from survival's guilt because I wasn't on that chopper. Is it seven? Is it O seven W? Do you think? West. Oh, west. On this side. Yeah, and and then is it O seven? So is it way down? Uh, why, maybe. I think so. Okay. Okay. Oh, there it is. Pretty easy to find, isn't it? Yeah. Um, gosh, he was in his early 20s when he passed away there. He was, um, he drove a truck and um, the truck was hit and he died um, pulling over to kind of save the rest of the folks in the truck. That's what we understand. Some of us can put our fingers on that wall and touch many names that we knew, that we served with, that we loved, and we fought for. Of those names on the wall, 39,996 were 22 years or younger. The largest age group 8,283 were just 19 years old. 33,103 were 18 years old. 12 soldiers on that wall were 17 years old. Five were 16. And one soldier, PFC Dan Bullock, was 15 years old. Well, I came to find several people that I found some the last time the wall was out here. And one I missed was uh, Lieutenant Commander Perry. And he's one of our pilots on board the USS Arisme. 
and we shot down over North Vietnam in 1967 and returned in 19, 1970. 997 soldiers, Marines, airmen, and, and sailors were killed on their first day in Vietnam. Even worse, 1,448 were killed on their last scheduled day in Vietnam. Well, this was one of my cousins that's on this wall. His name is Webster Johnson. Uh, a draftee. Uh, originally, he was a conscientious objector. Somehow he lost that status, got drafted, and was actually killed in his first mission. Uh, I saw him the night before, knew he was going out, and Two days later, I got the word he'd been killed in action. There are 31 sets of brothers on the wall. 31 sets of parents lost two of their sons. Um, my dad served in Vietnam um, in 72, and he had a friend named Kentrell Daniel, and they had plans to play cards um, the night that he actually died, so he never got to actually see him. 54 soldiers who attended Thomas Edison High School in Philadelphia are on the wall, 54 from one high school. This is Dale C. Christopher Pearson, who's my stepbrother, who died in Vietnam. He was killed um, by a sniper. San Jose in the state of California has the second highest, next to a much bigger city, L.A., with 147 men and women on the wall. I found Mary Teresa Clinker. And can you tell me something about her? She was a captain in the uh, Air Force uh, Nursing Corps, and uh, we worked air evacuation together and um, I worked at the uh, second aeromedical staging flight facility for pretty much all the all the troops and all hospital that coming through um, she was pulled out of our unit for a special mission which was to um, go and pick up uh, escort babies on the baby lift in Vietnam. And the plane that she was on was the C-5A that had the back doors sabotaged and blown off. And she was the last nurse at the tail end holding four babies. And she died and the four babies lived. There are eight women on the wall, killed in combat, nursing our wounded. You sold them from uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania. I was with him before he did. Ten minutes later, he got killed. So, then we have our, my friends up here: Lockhart, Curtis Lock, Curtis Lockhart, Manny, Patrick Manny, Lonnie Snow. We're all killed together. Kendrick uh, and Lawrence Jordan also were killed together. And they were, they, these, they grew up together and joined the Marine Corps together. And they, one, uh, he stepped on a mine and killed both of them. They both from the same neighborhood, they both went in the Marine Corps together. And they both died together. Since they were raised together, so. 244 were awarded the Medal of Honor during the Vietnam War. And 153 of those are on the wall. Can you tell me anything about Brian? I don't know anything about him. I just know that my dad um, served with the, a couple of guys and they were from the same area. It's from Tacoma. They're from Tacoma. My dad's from Seattle. And uh, so, yeah, they. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.